Hey y'all, Flower Plant Killer here, Jesse with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. And in today's video, we're going over resources. This is the second video in a series of videos on how to start a flower farm or cut flower garden as a small side hustle. Things I wish that I would have known when I started out. Now, I'm not saying this is exactly what you need to do. I'm telling you what I wish I would have known and would have done before diving into this head first and buying all the seeds. So today we're going over resources. So we're gonna start off with books. Books, books, books. You can see I've got a few of my books here that I love and would highly recommend. So the first book I'm gonna tell you that you need to buy is A Cut Flower Garden by Erin Benzinke. She owns Florette Flowers. The majority of you who are watching this probably know who she is. If you are new to flower farming or cut flower garden, you may not know who she is. Oop, wind's knocking down my books. So if you have never heard of Erin Benzinke or Flat Farm, oh my goodness. Google her, go Google her, I'll be here. She is amazing. Actually, don't go, don't go Google her yet. Watch the video, then go Google her. It helps my status. But this book tells you everything you need to know step by step as far as getting your beds prepped, soil testing, and it goes by season. And then it goes by certain flowers. You got Iceland poppies, you've got ranunculus. I love her book, especially if you are further north than I am. I would say zones five and up, you could probably really use this and go buy this book. Lower zones, you still need this book, but some of the flowers and when to plant them may be different than what's actually in here because she's located in Washington. But this is a great starting point. She even goes over how to plan out your beds and plots. So definitely, out of all the books you're going to buy, I would definitely recommend buying this one above all. And a link for it can be found down in the video description below. It's an affiliate link. So you can click on that. The next book I'm gonna recommend is Cool Flowers by Lisa Mason Ziegler. She is located in zone seven and she has put together a book for those of us who are in the hotter zones. I'm gonna say probably zones four and up could definitely use this. Uh, I'm in zone eight and I have not done this book yet. I've read it because I, procrastinated getting it and buying it but now that I have it I wish I would have bought it sooner I could have saved so much time she tells you what plants to start when that you can overwinter and have blooms sooner or for people like me who if I were to start sweet peas in May I want another book like everybody else does when starting sweet peas before your last frost right after your last frost date my sweet peas are dead before they can ever bloom because it gets too hot here way too fast. We actually need to start sweet peas in like October or November-ish in my zone because they can take the cold weather here. So she goes over seed starting, best way to start them. She goes flower by flower and some people will leave a review saying she doesn't tell you when to plant them. She does, she tells you based on your first frost date when you need to have these in the ground. So it's a great resource, highly recommend cool flowers. So you can see what flowers you can start in your zone in the fall and really add that extra season into your gardening. So I'll be doing that this year. I'm super excited. I'm getting ready to start some Rebecca in there. Oh, it's gonna be great. The next book I would recommend would be Discovering Dahlias. If you are getting Morning Dahlias, because you are just suckered into it, you've got to get this book. Erin Benzicke goes in, once again, Erin Benzicke from Florette Flowers, goes into detail about how to grow these tubers, how to separate. A lot of people in zones higher than zone eight have to dig out the tubers and keep them until next year because they don't survive the winter. She goes into that along with all of the varieties. So I would definitely recommend if you're going to grow Dahlias, discovering dahlias. You got my sunglasses on now. All right, the next book is if you're planning on doing arrangements, this is the book for you. This is A Year in Flowers by Erin Benzicke as well. Are you notice the pattern here? Pattern here. 
she goes into how to make bouquets, flowers, fillers, colors, concept design. So if you're wanting to sell arrangements, this is a great book for that. So she also goes step by step in how to make in certain arrangements. If you're wanting not to just do market bouquets, but base arrangements, this is a great book to buy as well. So let's talk about other resources. Let's talk about online. So online, I would definitely check out Florette Flower Farm. She has a blog where she goes into details. She has guides if you sign up for a newsletter where she does many free mini courses. That's right, free. She does offer an online paid class that you can pay for. Not a lot, it's really expensive. I have not taken any of her classes, but I sign up for the free mini courses that she does where she teaches you how and when to pinch plants. She goes over seed starting all for free and then she has blogs where she goes into details about certain plants her favorite tulips her favorite daffodils awesome resource and she sells seeds as well another website i would definitely recommend would be the gardener's workshop that is lisa mason ziegler's cool flower book author her website she and also her facebook she holds live facebook chats on flower farming she has a YouTube channel where she talks about flower farming in the South. She is a great person to follow. She has so much information. She also holds classes. So if you are interested in taking class on flower farming, because that's something you want to do and you can't afford the Erin Benzinghe classes, then Lisa's classes are definitely a must check out. Once again, I haven't taken her classes. I'm very tempted to take the bulb class that she offers on bulbs. The next website I would recommend is Johnny Select Seeds. Johnny Select Seeds, that's right. They don't just sell seeds. They have a grower's library. If you were to type in Snapdragons into the search bar, you can find a wealth of information on Snapdragons. You can find on China Asters, how to grow, what they do, and recommendations. They have a whole library on flowers, so definitely check it out. That's where I learned that Snapdragons actually have different groups, different categories. You buy this kind of Snapdragon for fall and winter and this one for spring and summer. It's amazing. Then the next resources are, let's talk about YouTube and Facebook. This is where you're gonna to go to get a lot of free information and also to learn from others who are like you just starting out. So Facebook, there's a group called Flower Farmers definitely join that group wealth of information so helpful there's another facebook group called florette seeds dahlias and discussions check them out they're a bunch of new people they love florette flowers obviously wealth of information just go into facebook and type flower farmer group or cut flowers and you, a bunch of groups will pop up that you can join and communicate with others who are possibly in your zone can identify that bug speaking of bugs a book I don't have that I need to get is Good Bug, Bad Bug. So I would recommend that book so you can identify the pests that are out here in the garden. So Facebook groups, find them, sign up, learn. Well, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm living on a prayer flower farm. Okay, but really, besides me, who really, I'm just showing you my journey as I learn all this mess, other YouTubers who I find very enjoyable who seem to know what they're doing way more than I do would be You Can't Eat the Grass with Serena and Ian. They're up in Canada and they do a full-fledged farm, full-time flowers and vegetables and they're just very entertaining, great to watch. And they have a lot of videos that also go into starting a cut flower garden, cut flowers, and their lessons they've learned as a farm and going to the farmer's market. My phone got too hot and the camera shut down because of it. So that's why we're in a different location out of the sun. Apparently that's a thing. That's all about YouTubers. I think I was on Nicole. Nicole at Flower Hill Farm is a great channel to check out. Uh, the channel name is Flower Hill Farm. Nicole does flower farming full time. I think she's in her second year currently flower farming. She's gone with it full time now. She's expanded a lot. She's hilarious to watch. It truly is a joy, so be sure to check her out. Wealth of information as well. She does community-sponsored agriculture CSA, which is basically the case subscription. 
She does bouquet bars off her front porch and she delivers to florists. So she has several different ways of making money off her flowers. And then there's garden answer. She's not really a flower farmer, but she has just a wealth of information on plants and gardening in general. So she's a great one to watch as well. There's also a few others. There's North Lawn Flower Farm. She's good. There's Fresh Cut Kentucky. That channel name is gonna be Fresh Cut KY. So be sure to check her out. She goes into details about how she winter sows and does things like that. And I think that's it as far as flowers go. If you know of a great YouTube channel that I didn't mention or that I forgot to mention, pop it down below in your comments. Maybe others will see it and we'll be able to check them out as well. And the last place I'm going to tell you to check out is call your Ag Extension office. Call them, talk to them, let them know what you're doing. Ask if they have anything about growing in your state that could help you out. Maybe they have resources they could recommend that could tell you more about soil, pests, things like that that you may need to know. So those are all the resources. If I left any out, if you know some that I didn't mention, drop them down in the comments. And make sure you check out the comments and see what other people are saying because we're all trying to learn from each other. In the next video, we're going to finally get into buying all the seeds. So excited talk about seeds and bulbs and stuff. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.